Mr. Hey there, fella.
right, girl. Where's this shine? There we go. Who we got here? Get up. Easy. You stop that wag! What is it? Yeah, boy. A uh, word of warning. I seen a big old gator just sitting in the road up ahead. I think we'll take our chances. Whoa! Yep.
got your moonshot. You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? Oh, it's, it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great deal. All deed. I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent no, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable, a way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls, a way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. What? You see, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Out of the damn way! Okay, girl. Problem. You're a brave girl. Easy, you're all Price book. Don't you even want to be rich? This one sounds big. Thanks. Wait a minute. I got some questions for you. Just let me be on my way. Do you have any information about what happened? No idea. Sorry. Well, I can't detain you, so you best move along.
like this make his life worth living. Got our hands full. The territory's been in all kinds of trouble, so I don't need any bad news on account of you. Hey there. Oh, Mr. Bounty Hunter, Mr. Carpetbagger. It's not one man you're messing with now. Y'all are messing with the entirety of the Lemoyne Raiders. Y'all are messing with the whole of the South. All right, all right, I think you should be getting on now. get me out of here. We all are coming for you Do all. as I say or I will put Believe you down, it. you hear me? You shouldn't take that. Yankee Look, I'm just trying to be on my way. That's it. Do what you're told when the law speaks to you. around here actually do any work? Mother raised I'm your right- I'm talking! Just leave me be! Look at you, long streak of piss. Hey, you better shut your mouth. Yes, you. Cow shit, you. Look, I'm just gonna leave, all right? You make me sick. Get the hell away from me! Calm down. What's going on? Is there a party I wasn't invited to? Nothing. Nothing at all. You should consider leaving. Now. Will do. Just a misunderstanding.
Welcome to our humble police house. What can I do for you? Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look. This will save you money in the long run. And, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But... I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. You must be damn stupid if you think you can come back here. You fought the federal government, and now the federal government's oh. gonna hang you. Oh, that it seems right to me. This is how tyranny begins. You mark me. This is the start of something. Oh, be quiet. You just dirty little killer getting his due. Senor? Certainly am glad you feel so good about it. Oh! 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 oh what the hell? How did that happen? Oh! Is someone down oh. there? Oh. I, I got something in my mouth. Oh. I'm gonna be sick. Oh, oh. I am so sorry. I didn't think anyone was standing Come on, there. You old crone! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Whew, boy. That'll need a change of clothes. You skunk. Smells even worse than it looks. Keep staring. I'll poke those pretty eyes out. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell III. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fellow here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. 
Why, this is all coming together wonderfully. The final piece of the puzzle. Come on, girl. How do you do, sir?
Ah, there, mister. Hey.
Treat for you. You're your own jailkeeper, mister. In a prison of your own making. Now, I'm just gonna check your pockets. You're coming with me. something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's a professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> if they wouldn't let you do this to me, they wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? You ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? Now, I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but... Pasture sometime after, the storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned Half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, well, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no sir. It was light. The electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. Ugh. That's what I see lightning do. But, you know, hey, this electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, oh, that must be of an entirely different kind.
You're okay, girl. about that McDaniels you all right <laughs> I got him. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Come on. Don't be shy now. Let's go. Bring him to me. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well. One stay by my humane electric ending facilitator. There will be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, 
Our poor unfortunate, ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. That outlaw was screaming and hollering for the priest when he thrown him. You do. Boy, God, careful. Come on out, you coward. We don't talk Excuse about me, you partner. Please watch where you're going. What is the matter with you're you? A dead man. I'm only kidding around. <laughs> oh, very funny. Waste of time. <laughs> Barbarity is poor, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, are you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean.
Hey, you! you. Mad in the head Woman! Something? Okay, what was that Shut for? Shut it! Didn't bother to scrub the blood up. Hello. Looking for a trim? Only a trim or something fancy like? Mighty fine if I do say so. Well, I guess we're all done here. Thanks for your assistance. Don't worry, no harm. Let's go, girl. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European. Got power and money. Now, listen. If 
If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> that is the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? 
None, I guess. This is idiotic. Are you gonna mount up? <sighs> Come on, then. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. <sighs> that poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Branch. For all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Keep looking. <laughs>
sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. How many you see? Three? Hard to tap. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Get on the ground, Morgan! Careful, they're leaning for the sound of the open. No, no way. Damn. We sure picked the right night for it. We've hit the big time.
can't go back to Bronte with nothing to... Fort Arthur? I think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. It's locked. We'll have to go back the way we came. Damn it! Let's go around the side. I found a body! <whistles> Shit! That's all we need. We gotta lose them, Morgan! Get ready to die, you son of a bitch! Shit! It's the law! Let's go! Maybe we can get out that gate! Locked! Let's just track back to where we came in! Damn! That's all we need! We gotta lose them, Morgan! Your time is up, you bastard! It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate.
It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once yeah. we got Jack. Let's get this done. <laughs> well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank Mr. Me. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. Hey. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, caballo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. Yeah. Me and your pa dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. <sighs> of course you did. Son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. You ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? 
Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about them. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boys say thank goodness. Thank hey, you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family.
away. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. De la sierra morena, cielito lindo, vienen bajando. Un par de ojitos negros, cielito lindo de contrabando. Se alegra el cielito lindo los corazones. Este lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Cantando se alegran, cielito lindo los corazones. Canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran, cielito lindo los Yo soy como el coyotito que los revuelco y los dejo y me voy al trotecito mirando por debajo. Tahiti, dear boy. Tahiti. If you say so. <laughs> Mangoes, maidens, paradise, an unspoiled paradise. Yeah, I hope so. Faith, Arthur. Have a little faith. Here you are. Eat up. I feel like I can breathe again. <laughs> no. Thank you, John. I'm sorry. Lighter and suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, well, very kind. Okay, Mama. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Yeah, it was good talking to you. So good to have you back. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. And to see a smile on your mama's face again. I never saw. He shot the rope. Clean through. Instead, they hanged the sheriff. And I got away with nothing right, more than a sore neck. Yeah, just taking it all in. It's always good to have Absolutely a kid back. petrified. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Maybe play something for Jack later. I'll ask him in a bit. Welcome home, Okay. Just like a regular evening for you, Uncle. Well, I try to keep some fun in my life, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> That's how you stay young. We did it. Well done. That's a weight off, all right. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. He asked me for my hand. Wind around his head. 
And me being a little fool and thinking it no harm, I jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm. Singing home, boys, home, it's where I want to be. Home we did it. Yes, we did. Thank God. He rumbled me, was over long ago. strode me to the oh, wall. Never he never let was only me catch my breath, I got no sleep at all. all. He up me so and he down, and he caught me out sure and he fucked me black and blue. Oh, it was a sin. And early in the morning, before the sleep of the day, he had to do you. Do what you do. Ain't no good, ain't no bad, just done. Nine months from now, a dog that makes you feel good or make you feel sad and just a light the dog on your knees. And if it be a sunset, a bed for the With that little ribbon tucked and had an echo of navy blue. Who let him climb your Daddy, I'm not you. Maybe there is damnation. But I think I know what that'll be like. <laughs> and I'm Come really on, glad. Kieran, join in. Oh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. I'll just watch. Suit yourself, then. See it for what the hell it is. Started as a thieving line in 1849. All opposition they defy, so people must be called or die. Your crowd in here was smelly, man. It's fattening all the time. in a pan. Oh, man. Misty plug tobacco smoke. With dresses in tobacco spit. But talk on politics and swear. There's a thieving line in 1849. All opposition they defy, so the people must root hog or die. You walking on behind Lug a pole, help him out some muddy hole. Hey, have to walk only half the way. Hey, with a cunning laugh, you'll have to push the other half. Started as a thieving line in 1849. All opposition they defy, so the people must root hog or die. Very good. Miss Karen? The strong, silent, manly one of us. <laughs> You're drunk. This ain't drunk, Arthur. It smells drunk. Well, then don't smell it, you stuck-up piece no of shit. God damn you. Take it easy, Miss Karen. Okay, Pearson? This place, see? Hey there. See? what I tell you? Listen. Next time, listen. Faith. Faith is all that matters. We had faith, and we made it. We are gonna make it. We have a plan. My friends, my loved ones, a plan it is a real plan. We are gonna leave this place, and we are gonna find our own paradise. Our own heaven! Tahiti! Fiji! Australia! The real New World! 
not this godforsaken dump that all of Europe's detritus has acted out its vengeance, vengeance on. We are gonna be free! Free. Yes, we are, Dutch! That's right, boss. Too right, Dutch! All day long on the prairies I ride Not even a dog to trot by my side Fire I kindle, cow chips around Would you go ride an Abigail up? I wouldn't dream of it just let her have this moment. Hello, gentlemen. Carry Arthur Morgan. How are you doing? Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. It's all coming back to me. Uh, sure. <laughs> if I had stayed with old Driscoll, you'd have probably killed me by now. You ever think of that? We'd have both died. Six points cabin. Yeah. That's true. Oh, brother. I really Okay, I'll catch you later then. See ya, Arthur. This square note with thieves that you should despise. A parson remarks from his pulpit of bones. Fortune, Fortune favors those who look out for their, their own. own. <laughs> yeah.
snoring, that's all. I'm going back to sleep. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change? 